Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Let me know if the volume level is okay. Hopefully it is. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome, happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome to Saturday Morning Dooger. Hi. It's very shadowy in here right now. Come on, I'm gonna try turning on the other lights and see if that helps. Maybe? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I just took a shower. You know. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be dewy today, it's fine. Fantastic. Welcome everybody. Lucy and Yak on point. Oh my god, can I tell you guys? Um one of the people that works there or or owns it, I'm not sure which uh saw my streams they watch streams a lot and wound up seeing my streams and was like yo this person wears our dungos all the time and contacted me and was like do you want us to send you some other clothes i was like oh my god <laughs> i was so excited <laughs> so they're sending me a, a couple pieces of clothing which is so sweet so excited I was like I don't know if you guys understand how much I love your clothes <laughs> it's it's happening <laughs> don't you need the door open for the cats I mean it's a short stream so it's fine they should be fine if they're not fine then it'll be my bad <laughs> Oh, Lucy and Yak is the name of the company. They're they're a um, awesome, like sustainable UK based brand. They make these that I wear all the time, and my like pink fleece that I wear. Um, I I love both of those items of clothing. I got both of those from Lucy and Yak, and so they were like, "Do you want something else?" <laughs> like, yes. Any advice on how to handle a two-year-old who refuses to take their medication when sick? Oh my gosh, we've struggled with this a bit. Um, typically, uh, patients, unfortunately, like eventually Clark gets sick of us having to keep her there and be like, look, my, my whole thing with Clark is my job is to make sure that you are safe and you are healthy. I have to, I have to like do those two things, right? mentally safe physically safe i have to do everything i can to keep you healthy right so it's hard when they're two clark's four now so i can have that conversation with her and be like baby either you take the medicine or i have to give you the medicine because it is my job and i would much rather that you took the medicine yourself i do not want to force this medicine on you um but like, I have to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to keep you healthy and you need to take this medicine, right? You can't do that with a two year old necessarily. They understand some stuff, but like th the nuances of that conversation, if they're upset, it doesn't help very much. So when Clarkie was younger, um, something that almost always did it was, I not for me, for whatever reason, she didn't care if I took the medicine, but if Sam took a little bit of the medicine, then she would take it. Um, also offering, if it's a liquid one, uh, saying to them like, okay, either you can have all of the medicine at once or like little bits of the medicine. So trying to give them like a choice there, right? Of like, either you can have one big spoon of it, or you can have like two smaller spoons or three itty bitty spoons, right? Um, giving them water 
saying if you need to take if you want to take a little bit and then drink some water and then take the rest uh, uh those are all of the sorts of things that we've had to do with clark before and they sometimes help sometimes don't sometimes it's just really rough so i feel you <laughs> If you haven't tried any of those things, um, maybe try them. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Capcom, happy 69 months. Nice, 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 nice. Uh. Um, yeah, so sorry, I totally forgot that this was what I was gonna tell you guys. So I vanished off the face of the earth yesterday. Um <laughs> I just just changed the title to stream canceled and everything said stream canceled and there was no explanation. Um, it was because I was, I woke up yesterday and was like, I have to go to the doctors. Um, specifically my, my, uh, clinic couldn't take me. So I had to, I had to go to like A and E, um, which is the uh, same as like urgent care. Um, urgent care slash emergency in America. Uh, so I, I had a UTI for a couple of days and normally I can get rid of them on my own. Um, and this one had turned into, uh, what was, what was becoming a kidney infection, which is really dangerous. Um, so basically like, uh, if you've ever had UTIs, some people are really prone to them for whatever reason. I've had them since I was pretty young. Um, <clears throat> it's a very common misconception that you only get them when you're sexually active. That is not true at all. You can get them from all kinds of things. Um, but some people are just really prone to them, unfortunately. And I am one of those people. So, but something that I have always been scared of is I knew that a UTI could turn into a kidney infection. I've always been hyper aware of that. Uh, so any of you who watch Deadbeats, you know that I kept leaving. And they were goofing about me leaving constantly because <laughs> I think they assumed I was leaving to go hang out with Clark. I was not. I was in an insane amount of pain. Um during deadbeats. And I was like, I need to just power through and do deadbeats. But my D and D dedication <laughs> overriding everything. It's like, I need to just power through and do deadbeats. And then like, I can take care of whatever the fuck is going on with me because this is not how UTIs are supposed to feel. So normally a UTI, you have like kind of a constant urge to pee. When you do pee, it's, it's painful. Um, and it'll come in waves, right? Sometimes it's like way worse at night, uh, which is one of the reasons that I was like, maybe this is just like really bad. Uh, but it shouldn't be like, you shouldn't be in, in constant, really bad pain. So during deadbeats, I was like, this is not normal. I feel terrible. Um, and uh, tried to get some sleep and could not sleep. So the, the warning signs that I was always told to look for, which saved me in this, is a UTI is moving up into your kidneys. If you all in here, if your abdominal area is in like constant pain, if there's a ton of pain all in here and it doesn't ever go away or be relieved at all, if it just always feels painful, um, and if you tap where your kidneys are, and you get waves of nausea or pain, go to the doctor. <laughs> go to the doctor, dude. Um, if you have a fever, if you're feeling like disoriented or shaky, go to the doctor. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I was like, Sam, first thing in the morning, I'm going to drop off Clark at school, assuming that I can. Uh, and then I'm going to the doctors and he was like, okay. Cause he had uh, a migraine that literally made him throw up. So I was like, I'm not gonna make you take me because you're all so fucked up. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna go to the doctors and I'm gonna get sorted. And he was like, okay, I love you very much. So I went in, I know, which were just cursed. I was able to take Clark to school, thank God. Um, took her to school, went to the, went to A&E. It only took a few hours for them to see me, fortunately. Um, but yeah, they, 
sorry. I'm not gonna go into details, but like they took a sample from me and they were like, yo, <laughs> you caught this right in time. Like, thank God. Cause the numbers that we're seeing, like the sort of stuff that we're finding um, is definitely indicative of a kidney infection, but like you don't have a fever, you know, uh, you said that you're able to like move around just fine. You don't feel disoriented. Like, thank God, that's great. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna put you on a medication. We're gonna make sure that you're okay, uh, and send you home and please just go to bed. <laughs> it's like, got it. <laughs> yeah. Your pee is trending upwards. Yeah, basically. Um, so that's why I was gone. That's why I vanished. <laughs> Cause I was like, I gotta go to the doctor's. I gotta go now. I have to leave now. And I'm not streaming today. Uh, I completely forgot to tell Octo. So I had a bunch of messages from Octo like, are we watching a thing? Are we not watching a thing? It's cool. I don't think we're watching something. Hit me up when you can. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck. So I messaged him like, I'm so sorry. I went to the doctors with a kidney infection. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot to tell you. And he was like, holy shit, it's fine. Um. Yeah, oh my God. Everyone was like, oh, if you're going to A&E, it's probably gonna be like anywhere between six and 10 hours, judging by how long people have been waiting lately. And I was like, what the fuck? So I was there for a while, <laughs> but I brought a book. I started listening to the um, Magnus, Magnus, Magnus? Magnus Archives. <laughs> Started listening to the Magnus Archives. Uh, I haven't gotten super far, but it's interesting. So it starts off as just like creepy pastas, basically. Um, but I'm assuming I think that it's gonna slowly have like more going on with it. But so far, it's it's creepy pastas. Yeah, well, my sister-in-law was like, that's what's rough about going to A&E, right? Is it's not, it's not just people going in there being like, I need antibiotics or I need medication. It's also people going in there with like broken bones and shit, you know? So it, it, the, they just have to take everything there. Is that a manga? No, it's a, it's a radio play. It's a podcast. Um... So that's pretty great. Uh, I was in there like four, four or five hours. Um, but it really makes me want, I'm sure that you can buy test strips. I'm sure you can. Because literally they took, they had me pee into a cup and then she took out a strip and plopped the strip into my pee and was like, okay, let's chat while we wait for that. And I was like, can I just buy those? <laughs> Can I buy those to take home with me, please? <laughs> I'm sure you can buy them. Anyways, yeah. Caught it just in time. I'm very happy about that. So don't fuck around with that shit. If you're prone to UTIs, constant pain here, pain here, go in. Yeah, I'm good. I came home, I started watching Sandman. Um, I like it so far. I know that that sounded unconvinced. <laughs> like, I'm not sure if I like it or not. Um, but I do think I'm liking it. I think I'm liking it more the longer that I watch it. Uh, it's not that I disliked the, f the first episode. I'm not going to spoil anything. It's not that I disliked the first episode, but that um, I think that there's... There's a tonal shift as it, as it goes that I think was really necessary, like really needed. Um, more of like a gradient of vibes, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, that I appreciated.
It's good, but a bummer. Yes, it is good, but a bummer. That's a great way to put it, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I like it so far. Summer said that episode six is like awesome. I haven't gotten there yet. I just I just watched episode five, so cute. They dropped a bonus episode yesterday, did they? Neat. I have finished Cult of the Lamb. Yeah, we beat it. I'm gonna try to get all of the Achievos off stream. It is based on the comic, yeah. Sam thought that it was about the uh, the Batman villain, and I was like, no. <laughs> no, sir. That's not what it's about. <laughs> Well, I only have I only have one boss left. That so one of the achievements that you can get in Cult of the Lamb is like fighting each boss without getting hit. Um, there's only one left for me. I've I've done three of them. Um, the first, second, and fourth main bosses uh, I've beaten without getting hit. So I just need to do the third one. difficulty are you playing on we played it on the hardest difficulty which again i don't i i never noticed a difference in like combat difficulty aside from the fact that they start you with one heart so i don't know what all i think them being like only choose this difficulty if you really want to die um i feel like that was overselling it a bit <laughs> Uh, my favorite horror manga is Uzumaki. I love it. Junji Ito in general is great, um, but Uzumaki is my fave. If you want something that looks like a horror manga but isn't, um, Junji Ito also made a comic that's about um, his family adopting a cat, <laughs> but he does not change his art style at all. So it looks like it's supposed to be horrifying, but it isn't. It's, it's really strange to read. I 
think the difficulty changes the percentage of rewards lost on dying. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't have known, thought to keep track of that. Prince Kaitsu, happy five years. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. Imagine reading that first. Cat Diary? <laughs> and being like, what a strange man. <laughs> In my lamb run so far, I've named all of the characters after Peppa Pig characters. Oh my god. Freddy Fox wants me to sacrifice Peppa. George wants to fight Daddy Pig. Madame Gazelle is in jail because she loses faith every time a new person joins. Incredible. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, I'd still like to do that, <laughs> Maria. I'd still like to do that. Yeah, um, either just just pay him to do an actual anniversary soundbite, or uh, or grab something from the video. How do you get followers in the lamb game if you don't stream it? Uh, so you find you find followers the exact same way that a streamer does. Um, you do the runs, you find them in the middle of a run, or uh, people in your town are like, hey, there's cultists with nowhere to go. Do you want to take them in? It's the exact same thing. The only thing that streaming does is when you get a follower, you can run a raffle for the follower to be named after. The, a person in chat and look how that chatter wants them to look. That's it. Finding the followers is exactly the same whether you stream it or not. Yeah, people have said Cult of the Lamb on Switch is not great, unfortunately. Ooh. Are you playing on a dance mat? No, <laughs> I'm playing with a controller. Uh, their, their newest DLC um, has multiplayer, so Kristen and I are gonna multiplayer it. We are both equally bad at Crypt of the Necrodancer, so should be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they reached out and gave me codes, which is very sweet. Well, it's funny because bo both Kristen and I have played um, the Zelda one all the way through. We've, we've played that whole thing. Um, and neither of us have successfully played Crypt of the Necrodancer and just like been fine. <laughs> so, I don't know. How would you recommend Crypt of the Necrodancer to someone who's never played it? Like, how would I describe the game 
It is a rhythm dungeon delver. So if somebody likes dungeon delvers or rhythm games, which I like both, um, they'll probably enjoy this game, or at least it's worth checking out. It's won a bunch of awards for a reason. People love it so much for a reason. Um, but it is, it is hard. I think it's pretty hard. Yes, the soundtrack is also incredible. Agree. Seeing the VTuber lamb newm around shrink and fly off screen was hilarious when Clark was visiting. Yeah, that's one of the things that's funny about those like VTube programs is they look for a face, right? So it just decided that Clark was the face that it should be following suddenly. And so then the lamb was Clark. It's very funny. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to use because I've, you know, I've never like been able to figure out how to use like a 2D VTuber at all. So it was fun to like have a reason to use one of those. I'm on just water. Oh my God, that's the other thing. So I came home, Sam knows that if I have a UTI, I have to uh, not drink like coffee. Um, I just don't drink coffee at all, right? Uh, because it can exacerbate it, like the acidity and everything. So I get home and Sam immediately, once I'm like, yep, I have like a low grade kidney infection, the UTI moved up. I'm on medicine, I'm fine, I'm going to bed. He immediately looked up uh, what I can and can't eat. <laughs> Cause he was like, well, I'm sure that there are things that you should not be eating then if it's a kidney infection. So last night I was like, I'm not cooking. I know you're not cooking because the second you're next to a light of any kind, your whole head hurts. So let's just order something. It's like, I'm even fine with pizza. I don't give a shit. So uh, he was like, okay, we can get pizza. However, um, you can't eat spicy things. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't? He was like, no, you're not allowed to eat spicy things. You can't have spicy things. You can't have caffeine. You can't have anything with high acidity. You can't have coffee or lemons or oranges or anything like that. I was like, okay. He was like, so do you still want pizza if you can't have a spicy pizza? I was like, yes. He was like, okay. I know it was very cute. It's like, here's all the stuff that you can't eat or it's going to make it worse. I was like, okay, thank you. I know. Bro, it is not... <laughs> Thank God Clarky was at school, at preschool. Holy shit. It is not easy when one of you like has a bunch of pain all in here and the other one has like one of those fucking cooling strips on their head and every time they go in a room goes like trying to take care of a toddler. Hilarious. <laughs> Last night I was like, I can do the like laying down, reading books shit with her, but someone needs to play her game. If we have all the lights off in her bedroom, can you play her bedtime game with her? And he was like, yeah. So he literally just turned on all of her night lights and they played dollies. <laughs> she was like, I wanna play LOLs. And he was like, okay. She was like, they're gonna go to ballet school, but first we have to dress them. And he was like, Okay, so they're just like in a dark room trying to dress all the dolls. It was so cute. And I was just laying there like, once you guys are done, I will do my part. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
How do you avoid UTIs when you get them often? Um, so one of them that, again, because there's this misconception that you only get them when you're sexually active, I think the most commonly known ones are to uh, go to the bathroom and take a shower after you've been sexually active. Um, you don't have to take a shower every single time, but like the, both of those things can help, right? Uh, lesser known ways that you can get them is based on not drinking enough water. Uh, if you basically only drink energy drinks or uh, coffee, if you're like never drinking water, please God drink water. <laughs> You have to consistently drink water. Like only drinking caffeine will make it way easier for you to get one. Um, also uh, taking baths that are too long. If you just like sit in the bath for a really long time, like different like bacteria can get up there. Uh, if you um, stay in a wet bathing suit for like hours, you can potentially get them. It's just there's all this sort of stuff. So like don't don't stay in wet bathing suits for a long time. Don't take baths that are like, you know, over half an hour or an hour. Uh, try to go to the bathroom or take a shower after you've been sexually active and drink water. Just drink just drink water. <laughs> I'm gonna go drink water. I just went and got water. Drink water, baby. What's the deal with UTIs and cranberry juice? Anything to that? Uh, yeah. So like basically, um, all of the all of the uh, like UTI relief stuff is cranberry based. Um. And if you have a UTI, you're always told to like, go get cranberry juice. Like not, not like 2% cranberry juice, mostly sugar water, like, like full on cranberry juice. Uh, yeah, it helps a ton. It, it relieves a lot of it. It won't make it go away, but it'll relieve a lot of the like inflammation. So, yep. Is that why I see cranberry juice mixed with every other kind of juice? Maybe. <laughs> I started drinking more water after I had a super nasty kidney stone. Yeah. Oh my God. All of my friends that have had kidney stones um, have like <laughs> reached a point where they're like, okay, water. Water is my best friend. Water is my best friend forever. So, Ashley, happy six years. Beep. There's a dab for you. Thank you very much for the support. Another way to avoid UTIs is to go to the bathroom when you need to go. Holding it in is bad for you. For sure. There, there are a myriad of reasons why in public people wind up holding it, you know? It's not good for you to hold it, but unfortunately, like, sometimes people are in positions where they just do not feel comfortable going to the bathroom until they get somewhere safe, you know? So, but yeah, if you can't, like, don't hold it for no reason, right? <laughs> just go to the bathroom if you can. Brett, how are you, bud? I'm telling everybody about my kidneys <laughs> and fear mongering people into drinking water. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I was telling them, like, it was hilarious, Brett, because I have wireless headphones now, right? So every time I had to step away to, like, try and deal with my shit, <laughs> I would I would hear, I would hear somebody make a goof about me being gone, and I was like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> What's Dash doing? Is he asleep? Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> Normally, I, I do step away a lot from most of my games because of Clark most of the time. So it made sense that everybody assumed that I was constantly getting up to go take care of Clark. Cause it's not like I came back and was like, hey, this isn't a Clark thing. This is like a, I'm in a lot of pain thing because I really didn't want them to end the game. I didn't feel like that needed to happen. So I was, I was down for everybody to assume that I was with Clarky instead of being like, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm dying. Yeah, I don't think I realized how bad it was until we were about halfway through the session. And then I was like, well, I'm just gonna power through. <laughs> and hopefully it'll be fine. And it was, it was fine, but. Thank you. It's grown out quite a bit. I need to get it cut again. Couldn't tell whatsoever. I'm so glad, that's great. I'm glad that you couldn't tell. Because it would suck if you uploaded that episode and people were like, what the fuck is wrong with Dodger? I'm still upset that your kidneys were dying and you didn't let us know, but I'm glad you're okay. It wound up being okay, yeah. I was, I was telling everybody, I, I went in, they tested my pee, they were like, wow, really glad you came in. Here's some medication. <laughs> uh, and then gave everybody the rundown on like, how to tell if your UTI is turning into something really dangerous and things to do to avoid getting UTIs and all of that. All of that sort of shit. <laughs> That's true. It was the PSA I didn't know I needed. <laughs> Yeah, take care of yourself. Take care of your urethras, everybody. <laughs> Water is your friend. A PSA. Goodness. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay, I have, so I have two ideas. I have two, I need to run these by you, okay? So, um, Clarky and I were talking about how it's like good luck to catch once the leaves start to fall, when fall starts to happen. When the leaves start to fall, it's good luck to catch a leaf as it's falling from a tree before it hits the ground, right? Um, so maybe, maybe not everybody thinks that, but, but we always say that. So we were at the park today. Um, and we were trying to catch leaves that were falling from a tree because they're starting to fall. And I was like, oh my gosh, fall is happening. This is so exciting. So we were trying to catch leaves. Um, and there's a project that I've always wanted to do, which is taking, uh, taking a leaf and you press it into cement. Sometimes people will do this with like really big leaves and then turn them into like stepping stones and gardens and stuff. You might've seen that stuff. Uh, so, um, 
I thought to myself, it would be really cute to take a leaf and press it into cement and then form it into like a tiny bowl, right? Like, like a little, just a tiny bowl, right? Like something that you would throw earrings into and stuff like that. So then I was like, holy shit, it might be really cute um, to send like little letters to all the kids in the family and be like, hey, um, fall is upon us, right? If uh, your family catches a lucky leaf this fall, please give it to Auntie Brooke and she'll turn it into a little, a little cement bowl for you. I think that that would be really fun. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? I think that would be really fun. Because we were, Clarky and I were trying to think of like ideas for projects that we could do with the kids. Clarky's idea was that we should make potion bottles. And I was like, oh, we could totally do that. But it kind of, um, it, it kind of like relies on the parents a bit more um, in that, <clears throat> <clears throat> When I was in college, we did a make a potion bottle thing, but the catch was that you had to go to thrift stores and find a like a glass something that you wanted to turn into the potion bottle, right? So either I could just like find them myself, like I could go to a bunch and just try to pick out a bunch of different like cool shaped glass bottles um, which might be the best way to do it. Or I could say, hey, I want to make potion bottles with the kids. Um, you know, please, you know, find a glass something that you would like to turn into like a cute potion bottle for Halloween season or whatever. What if they catch all the leaves? The first one's the one that counts. The first one is the lucky one. Freeze the leaf in Lucite? I don't think that I've ever seen that before. You're perfect for a family with little kids. I just love like little projects like that. And it's nice, it's nice having the kids around to inspire me to do those projects. Cause I used to do stuff like that all the time. Kangalot. You know, it's false autumn. False autumn, like, because the leaves are, are falling earlier than usual. It's about to be September, which is autumn. <laughs> so... Oh, cute. We did something like that with clay tiles at school. Then the tiles were put up as decorations on a wall. That's so cute. Is September autumn? I thought it was still summer. Oof, not in my life. September, October, November is autumn. Yeah, the heat wave made everything, like the the excess heat and the lack of rain and all of that has made all of this happen earlier than usual.
Yeah, that's how I feel too. If the leaves are falling and turning color, it's autumn. You can look at a calendar and say, but the end of September is when it becomes fall. If it, if I perceive it to be fall, then it is. <laughs> calendar autumn and actual weather autumn. Yeah, I think they're different, right? I learned that September 9th is the most common birthday. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take a super quick break. Grab more water. Be right back.
Hello, I'm back. Ugh. Are you guys talking about uh, the HelloFresh stuff? Yep, my code is for everywhere. It is not region locked. Um, the number that you see in the top corner, the 14 out of 100, uh, that is only tracking UK people, apparently. So they will tell me the actual final number um, after everything is done, after the month is over. But uh, yeah, the code is not region locked. You can use it anywhere. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I have not done my cooking stream. No, they wanted it to be later in the month. So even though we did all that, like you guys choose the meal and then I'll cook one of them on stream. Um, it, it won't be one of those meals. <laughs> but every meal that we've done so far has been good. Dodger's hair is at mullet stage? What do you mean? It's not a mullet. <laughs> I love a mullet. I wish it's not a mullet though. <laughs> I love those pink dungarees. They look so cute. Thank you. They're by Lucy and Yak. It's a lovely UK based company. Any favorites or least favorites? Um, so this last box, I let, uh, I shouldn't say I let, I forgot to like choose the meals. So it just sent us whatever. Um, and one was like a Mexican inspired sweet potato salad. That was really good. I really liked that. Um, one is a, uh, like mushroom linguine thing, which if you know Sam, you know, he hates mushrooms. So I made it, I made it all normally and then just gave him the, like a serving without the mushrooms in it. And I have no idea if he liked it or not, <laughs> but it was, it was pretty good. I, I thought it was fine. Um, not, definitely not my favorite, but I thought it was fine. And then... Uh, what was the other one that has been in this box so far? Because we've only got two left of it. We've got a cottage pie left, and we've got... Um, oh, a risotto. But we've made three of them, and I'm trying to remember what the third one is. It's probably a bad sign. <laughs> Yeah, nothing's been bad. Nothing's been like, oof, definitely never ordering this again. <laughs> but I also forgot to do the box that's coming up. So the one that's gonna be delivered on Monday, wait a second, actually, let's go look at what it is. Okay, let's see. Due to a bank holiday, this week's delivery day is, oh, that's that's for next week. Okay, those are the ones I can still adjust. Okay, but the ones that are about to show up are cheesy oven bake tomato risotto. So another risotto, uh, meatballs and linguine, chorizo pepper and sweet corn, nanitsa, so non but as a pizza. <laughs> Bacon crusted cheese and spinach penne bake, and a creamy truffle and mushroom rigatoni. They are all pasta except for one. I've got to make sure I change my box for the week that we cook. 
I'm fine with pasta. Do I want to eat pasta every night? Maybe not. <gasps> Alex, happy 69 months. Nice. Yeah. Why not? I just don't want to eat pasta every night. <laughs> The ones that are in the box for the week that we'll be cooking are <clears throat> ratatouille pasta bake, beef pilaf, barbecue sausage skewers, pork chili and rice burrito bowls, and blue cheese dauphinois pie. So I'll go through, I'll go through and figure out what I want for that week. Things that would be fun to, to like, cook, you know. Prawn curry, that looks really good. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not looking at this now. <laughs> I'll look at it later. <laughs> I'll look at it later. Yes, so this week, so tonight we've got the co-op with Kristen. Um, and then we uh, do have Manga Pod on Monday, reading Given, which is, uh, if you ever saw the anime, the manga is very sweet. Um, so Given chapters one through 16, I think it was, super easy read. It's like the first three volumes or whatever. Um, that Friday, we're going to be doing our uh, second section of Dracula reading. And that Saturday, I believe we're going to try to do the watch party. So try to get everything done and wrapped up this week. Yeah, yeah. So if you enjoyed the first reading of Dracula, come back we'll be doing uh chapters five through eight what are we watching uh sharkula what is that 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 movie about a vampire shark <laughs> Time on Saturday, 9 p.m. BST or GMT or whatever we're in right now. Yeah, Sharkula. So it's gonna be it's gonna be two days of Dracula. <laughs> No, Jesse is not coming. No, it's just me and Octo. Is the VOD for the first Dracula part still around? Yeah, it should be. I don't delete VODs, and we also put everything up on YouTube, so. How does the watch along work? Basically, they are, they are prime watch parties. Um, this was something that, uh, that we put up as a community goal, if people wanted to do one. 
Um, so if you have Amazon Prime and if this movie is available, it's convoluted, but if this movie is available in your country with Amazon Prime, you can do a watch party of it. Uh, so we'll do a watch party of Sharkula. <laughs> <laughs> and when you come to the stream, um, you can basically like, if I believe if you're... Amazon account is linked up with your Twitch, then you can watch along. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. It's not gonna be available in every country, unfortunately. I'm not saying that you should do this, but like, you know, there are VPNs. <laughs> I just think it's important that you guys know that VPNs exist. Um, you know, just as just informationally. So I've done, I have joined a watch party before and um, rented the movie, which I know is, is silly if you have to do this, but rented the movie and then tried to sync it up with, with the watch party and done it that way. Yeah, I'm not saying use the VPN to try and make the watch party work. That that would not work. <laughs> but if you're like, I know, no, rent it for real. <laughs> you can rent things online now. Um, if you have, say, like a Netflix account, right? Just as an example. And you know that the stuff that's offered on Netflix in your country is totally different from the stuff that's uh, offered in Netflix in other countries. If you use a VPN and get in, go on to your Netflix account, it'll offer you the stuff from the country that the VPN says you're in. Um, so. It doesn't always work. I, it doesn't always work, but... I don't personally... I don't know, maybe this is a hot take. I don't personally think that that sort of thing counts as piracy. You're still paying a fucking Netflix account right you're still paying a fee to have access to netflix so if you trick it into thinking that you live somewhere else to watch a different thing anyhow Dracula is free on Tubi. I don't know what that is. But yeah, originally what I was saying that you can do is 
go on to something like Amazon. It doesn't have to be Amazon. Other, like, things like Apple offer this, but, like, if they offer a movie, they'll probably say, like, do you want to buy it or do you want to rent it? And you can typically rent it and have access to it digitally for a couple of days. So that's an option. That was the option that I was suggesting. And a bunch of people in chat were like, so piracy. And I was like, no, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> trying to watch Sharkula. No crimes, no crimes. Is it a legit site, Tubi? It's US only. The largest free movie and TV streaming service in the US. If I go to it, it's like, sorry. <laughs> it's a three out of 10. Apparently the reviews are like, this movie's terrible. <laughs> So we were like, okay. <laughs> look, we can keep trying to look for something that's available to more people. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be Sharkula. <laughs> you can't top Sharkula. What was the other one? Velocipaster was the other one that I was talking about watching, but that also was not available to many people. A pup with an upset stomach? No idea. I know nothing about dogs. Velocipaster is a gem. Probably the worst movie ever. Should we do Sharknado versus Velocipaster? <laughs> no, I've I've asked Jesse if he wants to join. He is not keen. My guy literally hates sharks, <laughs> hates them so much. He does? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Jesse has like a pretty strong fear of sharks. <clears throat> Which is why he does so many shark related things for like charities and stuff because people are like, I want to see the guy who is scared of sharks do shark stuff. <laughs> Would he watch Velocipaster? Okay, so I'll watch I'll watch Sharkula with Octo. And then I'll go to Jesse and be like, what's up? Do you want to watch Velocipaster with me? I think he saw that with Krendor. Never mind then.
Lavantula, tarantulas that spit lava. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's two of them. Lavantula and then two lava, two lantula. <laughs> what the fuck? Incredible. Amazing. When volcanic eruptions in Los Angeles unleash a new breed of gigantic lava-breathing tarantulas, it falls to washed-up movie star and action hero Colton West to save the city and its population from total devastation. <laughs> God, we just love mixing animals with things, dude. You can do it, Colton. Colton, you got this. I believe in you, dude. Hi, Mimika. I would launch that movie into space saying based on a real story just to scare the aliens away. I agree. That could be a fun idea. I, I had always said, though, that I didn't want to, like, consistently do watch parties or, like, work that into my normal content because it's so inaccessible to so many people. Because, again, it's not it's not even just, like you have to have a Prime account. It's also, you have to have a Prime account in the right countries, you know? So it's hard. But I am wondering if like, there's a way to format it where, uh, almost like riff tracks, right? <laughs> where, yeah, we're, we're watching it along with the movie on stream. Um, but, but also like if I'm locally recording it, and put like, uh, like, um, timestamp numbers on the bottom. Somebody could like watch along with us, you know? I don't know. Just trying to figure out ways that people can like still use it, even if they don't have that. So does watching Lord of the Rings right now. They have the time they are in the movie on their screen. Yeah, that seems like the way to go. Seven Sharknados, how? <laughs> it's a masterpiece? Which one? The seventh one or all of them? <laughs> Sharknado's cinematic universe. 
I want LaVantula to be in the cinematic universe of Sharknado. You know? The first Sharknado came out almost 10 years ago. Holy shit. That's amazing. I've got like a little, a little dot there where that beeper was. This is the beginning. <laughs> this is the beginning. You know, like, uh, as you get older, your skin becomes so much more susceptible to just like holding on to things. My dad, anytime he bumps himself, he can just bump himself lightly and he'll get a huge bruise and it probably will not go away for a really long time. <gasps> Mr. Rebecca, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. We're talking about bad movies. Uh, the whole beginning part of the stream was basically a big info dump about uh, how to tell if you have a UTI and potentially a kidney infection and how to uh, not get UTIs or at least prevent them. Um, so if you want any of that info, feel free to watch the beginning of the stream. But now, now we're talking about uh, cinematic masterpieces such as Sharknado, uh, La Vantula. Um Apparently there's seven Sharknado movies, so. Uh, I'm planning on watching Sharkula this Saturday with Octo. Very excited. Great morning talk, it sounds like. It was very good. Very good morning talk, yeah. Huh. Huh. But yeah, uh, if any of you haven't watched Mr. Rebecca before, they are lovely. Mega Shark versus is also an interesting series. Why is it always sharks? I don't have a problem with sharks, but like, it's always sharks, isn't it? <laughs> when are we gonna do like, we should also probably watch Vampire Dad at some point. I agree. But I don't think I don't think Vampire Dad is is a watch party movie. I think we oh my god, it really wants me to watch Sharknado now. Vampire Dad. <gasps> Wait, it does have the watch party thing. Oh no. Oh shit. Which one should I watch? We have to watch Vampire Dad eventually. Should we watch it this Saturday? Oh no. We're gonna vote. 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 Uh, okay. New poll. Which movie? This isn't saying that we wouldn't ever watch the other movie. But this Saturday, but not today, but ne a Saturday from now, are we watching with Octopimp Vampire Dad or <laughs> Sharkula? Or Sharkula? The poll is live. Please make your choices. <laughs> Can you play their trailers? All right, hold on. Hold on, all right, hold on. Oh, new philosophy tube video. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That's exciting. Okay, um, vampire dad trailer. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and uh, Sharkula trailer. Okay. 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 Ready? Are we ready? Okay. Get rid of that. Go here. Uh, boop and Okay. Here we go. Sharkula trailer. Ready? Hopefully this isn't too loud. Something weird is going on around here. Your name is really Renfield? It's a bit odd, but harmless. Please! I think our boss has some weird hypnotic hold over these towns. The shock and die are intertwined. It sounds like a load of crap. I've never watched this. Oh my god. Mind of yours. If you disobey one more time, you end up as a sacrifice. No! Sharks. Sharks? We bring you our sacrifice for your blood lust. Would you probably ask her? I saw a giant shark with glowing red eyes in the water. What is it? Shark you love. Shark you love. The devil fish. <laughs> okay, so there's that. <laughs> that looks terrible <laughs> this is vampire dad Darling, it's like the start of the naruto music your father and i have something to tell you but we don't want you to worry <laughs> my ginger only barks when she senses danger Miss Jones, this is Dr. Walensky. I need to reschedule our appointment for today. Oh, no, nothing is wrong. I'm just a little under the weather. <laughs> this looks way better. <laughs> Humans, they can all do one thing really well. They can all die. Are you gonna die? You recruit me into your little club because you need a psychologist? We have feelings, Raymond. We? Us, changeling. Vampires, zombies, witches, ghouls. You ruined my life. This is Jimmy Dawson, my boyfriend. Boyfriend. Say cheese. That's weird. Dad, you're not in any of the photos. There is something not right. Come on, you know, this is a perfectly safe neighborhood. What if there's a predator? Taking a blanket? Oh, thank you. I'm here to see Dr. Walensky. He's in the oven at the moment. You're still accounting. I work from home. Okay. So I don't see my clients? Here's to a family with no secrets. I mean, this is, this is your dad. <laughs> How are we going to help this creature? Get out, Bob. That's how far it's gone. Vampire dad! <laughs> okay. Look. Vampire Dad looks like it could actually be enjoyable. <laughs> so. Do you guys, you guys want to redo the poll? Okay. Now that we've seen the trailers. Okay. 
the poll has has started it started again yeah go for it does one movie exclude the other no not a, i'm this is specifically like what movie would you like for uh octo and i to watch together I want to watch Sharkula with Octo and Vamp Dad with Jesse. Gotcha. It looks like Vampire Dad is winning. So we're probably going to watch Vampire Dad this Saturday. Can't have a good movie as a watch party movie. <laughs> but Vampire Dad has become such a meme. I think it would be so fun for us to watch Vampire Dad together. Vampire Dad has monster camp vibes. I agree with that. 100% I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, the music. The music was very monster camp. Or monster prom. One sec. One sec. Hello, I'm back. Sorry. I could hear Clarky screaming and I was like, uh oh, because I could hear Sam downstairs. So I was like, I hear Clarky that way and I hear Sam that way, so. But everything's fine. Thank you. Hello. She's screaming her boat. She was like, don't watch Vampire Dad.
I have so much stuff to watch right now, and none of it is anime. <laughs> it's so it's so bizarre to be in that position. I I'm trying to finish Sandman, and uh. Sam and I are working our way through Stranger Things. So we're finally to season four. So we can start season four on Wednesday. And a uh, new season of Lock and Key is out, which I really loved the first season of Lock and Key. I thought that it was really interesting, actually. Sandman any good? It's good so far, yeah. Um, I think I'm further than I thought I was, but yeah. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. What's Lock and Key about? Um, Lock and Key is, uh, it's I think based on a series of books, like a young adult series of books. And it's about um, a bunch of kids that move into a house with their mom after their dad has died, if I recall correctly. Um, and like, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of how to put this in a way where it's not spoilery, but like, it's got all the standard, you know, like young adult fantasy novel magic stuff going on. Um, Lock and Key is a comic. It is not for young adults. Okay. Um, the the show is very... Uh, it's a Neil Gaiman series. Okay. I didn't know all of these things. Apparently, it's a comic. And young adults should not read it. <laughs> um, it's about kids working through their trauma. But in like a, in like a fantasy setting. There you go. <laughs> it's by Joe Hill, the son of Stephen King. Interesting. Sorry to open a can of worms. I didn't know it was a can of worms. <laughs> the graphic novel is horror, but the show is young adult fantasy. That's why. Okay. Yeah, because from watching the show, it does not seem like there would be anything wrong with the original source material for kids not for little kids but you know the comics are super gory interesting that's good to know Oh my god. So we're getting the last of like Clarkie's uniform stuff. Uh there's so much to get when you're if you don't come from a, a country or a school where you had to wear uniforms and you have to figure out how uniforms work for your kid nightmare <laughs> uh there is so much shit to get there's so much shit it's it's oh my god and then my mother-in-law was like have you bought her name tags yet and i was like holy shit I would never have even thought of the fact that I needed to do that. She was like, yeah, well, you know, they all wear the same thing, so you need to name tag everything. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so I went online. Unfortunately, there are loads of people that make name tags for uniforms. Um, for uniforms for, for everything. Uh, 
So Clark and I went and looked and I found a bunch um, and ordered them. And I was like, Sam, it's great. There's just iron on ones you can get. So I'll just iron all of them on. And Sam was like, yeah, um, the iron on ones always fell off of ours. So my mom didn't trust them. So she hand stitched every single one of them. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Like, I, I don't have the strength, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, so the set that I got, it, they're all, they're all iron on. Um, stitching study hall? No, because I can't show her uniform on stream. The uniforms are hyper specific to the school. Uh, yeah, so um, it, it came with like a bunch of iron on ones and then uh, just normal ass stickers. So the normal stickers are good for like shoes, water bottles, you know, um, but all of the fabric stuff needs either stitch on or iron on ones. I think my mom embroidered our names in some of our stuff. Not uniforms, just stuff that needed name tags. Oh, that's so cute though. That's very cute. <laughs> Do it in VTuber form with just a big sign that says, I'm stitching, I'm hand stitching stuff. Oof, yeah. Yeah. Would a sewing machine help with the name tags? I mean, the name tags are just so small. Like, I guess maybe it would help, but at the same time, I think it would be plenty, probably, to just, like, do stitches in the corners. Or, like, I don't... I don't know, maybe I'm just naive, but I can't imagine stitching all the way around every single one of those. I don't know that that's necessary. You look like a high school bar bully with a redemption arc. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. My aunt would only stitch the top and bottom. That makes sense. My mom just did the sides. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, both of those make sense to me. If they're iron on, I feel like ironing them on and then doing a couple of like safety stitches should, should be fine, <laughs> right? Maybe iron on technology has improved. Maybe. Are you nervous for Clark to go to school? Sure. Yeah. 
But I think she's going to be fine. I think that she's really chomping at the bit to be in school. Um, I say this because she has Spanish class every Saturday. And my kid is fully like the second it's sit down, let's do class time. She is sitting. She's chosen a spot. She's paying attention. She's engaged. She's active, you know. I think that she's going to really like school a lot. <laughs> so, I might be wrong, you know, and it might be in the middle. It might be that generally she likes it and, you know, there's some things that are just really rough for her, like a lot of us, right? But um, I think she's probably going to be... She's probably going to do just fine. We really like the school she's going to. We've met all of her teachers and everything. So, yeah. But it is weird. I'm mentally preparing for her to just, like... Not be around. Almost every day so weird so weird this one of the teachers dating a computer Will she be a yay math kid or a nay math kid? I think... I don't know. I have, like, conspiracy theories about how the way that school is set up makes it so kids hate math. Uh, as of right now, my kid, who has not really been to school much, aside from preschool, um, loves math. Loves it. So, it would be great if that continued. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she counted to uh she grabbed a huge fistful of like itty bitty rocks and was like i want to count them and i was like okay <laughs> and uh got to 70 something before she gave up and was like mommy you count the rest and i was like damn you did really well though um she also and again, like, I don't know what other four-year-olds can do. I don't, I don't know. Um, but Sam and I were really surprised that she can do, like, really quick mental math as long as the numbers are small enough. Um, I had no idea about that. <laughs> so she was grabbing something. She was like, we only need one. And I said, well, we need four. And she was like, oh, so I'll grab three more. And I was like, Clarky, you just did math. You just did math. <laughs> like immediately. That was amazing. Um, so, you know. That sort of stuff. We just get really excited. Like, oh my gosh. Good job, brain. Well done. So we've quizzed her a little bit. Um, you know, we can we can ask her like basically any number plus one. She's figured that shit out for sure. Um, most numbers plus two. She can do as again as long as it's like under ten, right? Uh, so four plus two, five plus two. Once you get to like five plus three. She can probably do it, but it takes her a while. And anything beyond that is like kind of too big for her to like mentally focus long enough to do it, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, I was very impressed. Okay. Um, I'm starting to feel a bit rough, so I'm gonna get going. But we made it the two hours. I'm very glad. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna unpause raid leader. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me for Saturday morning Duger. Um, Octo has already confirmed with me that he would love to watch Vampire Dad on Saturday. So, are you not feeling well? Uh, I have a kidney infection. Um, so I went to the hospital yesterday. I'll keep it super short. I have a kidney infection. I went to the hospital yesterday because I noticed the warning signs for it. Um, and they gave me medication. They said that I got there just in time before it started to turn into anything dangerous, that I could go home and just take my medication as long as I chilled. So I did that and I passed the fuck out after taking my meds. Um, and uh, today I feel better. Uh, but everything's still like sore and I still generally like hurt a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. We caught it in time and everything's fine. So let's read this off really quick. Warner, thank you for the 33 months. Doregard for the 61. Konataizumi for the 30. OMG, it's Viv for the 25. Jahome for the 21. Dojums for the 69, Gabbro for the 26, Sunny, welcome for the one year. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support and the love, the dab, beep, beep. Um, Capgun for the 69 as well, Crickbell for the 36, happy three years, happy anniversary, dabs. I appreciate you very much. Thank you so much. Um, Sonrissa for the 41, and Satan for the 74, Katie DeCat for the two years, happy anniversary, dabs. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, Clarity at 3 a.m. for the 27. DJ Otzi the Iceman for the 8. Full Cure for the 14. Um, Alda Wolf Galvarium for the 61. Prince, Prince Kaitsu for the 5 years. Happy anniversary, Dabs. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, Duo Nico for the 22. Archibon for the 50. Zavone for the 4 years. So many anniversaries today. Happy anniversary, Dabs. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Maja Sum for the two. Asher Lee for the six years. Happy anniversary, Dabs. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of the all the long-term subscribers, the new subscribers, the lurkers, the non-subbers, all of you guys. Thank you very, very much for the support. Jun Coffee for the 23. Runner for the 68. Drudana for the 20. Sevateel for the 53. Craswoman Yo for the 38, Will Wall for the 66, Akira for the 33, Alex Ratman for the 69, uh, Oblivious to Me for uh, the Gifted Sub, True Heart for the 78, Dark Shadow for the 70 months. Mr. Rebecca, thank you again for the raid. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing good. Bamba Lamber for the 78, Unseelie for the 55, Missing Digit for the 25, Genetic Gizmo for the 63, and Vigil Umbra for the 15. And. We have a raid leader from our very own Alex Ratman. Let's see. Just double checking. This person is still alive and everything's good. They're doing uh, GTA. Bam. Go say hi. Spread love, spread joy. I'm going to go chill. I appreciate it. Um, tonight I will be playing with Kristen, so come hang out for that. That'll be at 9 p.m. assuming my kid goes to bed on time. Uh, but otherwise, my next normal stream will be on Monday. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye!